welcome to my spectacular workplace. This is the courtroom of the principal judicial organ of the United Nations, the International Court of Justice. We have had numerous conventions that have been adopted ever since, protecting the rights of women, protecting the rights of children, protecting the rights of disabilities, and so on and so forth. We have come a long way because of people who have been courageous. And I'd like to talk to you today about a very courageous man going by the name of Baruch Spinoza. He was born in the early 1600s in Amsterdam, so he was born home. However, Spinoza was excommunicated by the Jewish rabbis for his views. So he fled Amsterdam and he came to The Hague to find refuge. Nevertheless, his views were not palatable. And in my view, one of the greatest books in the history of thought is this one, Ethica. Ethica was never published. It was censored. So Spinoza has been the recipient of a violation of what we now call the freedom of expression. And ironically, Ethica laid the philosophical foundation of the freedom of expression, which in turn became the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So it all started in The Hague by a book unpublished at that time. What I've come to realize is that if an international dispute resolution body like the International Court of Justice is going to remain useful in the future, it has to adapt to modern times. It has to adapt to technology. It has to take on board what we now call the fourth industrial revolution. Human rights nowadays um, have transformed. Today we talk about online hate speech, we talk about artificial intelligence, we talk about digital property and digital identity and how to regulate all that. So the debate is now changing, the legal framework is changing. We're not talking about the violation of fundamental rights, but about the regulation of it. The point of my speech today is, yes, Let's celebrate the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. But where do we go from here? And my view is that we are in dire need of a new declaration, a universal declaration of digital rights. It's going to be a laborious task. But as Baruch Spinoza very wisely said 400 years ago, all things that are excellent are as difficult as they are rare.